With Next.js 13, we have a new way to use fonts inside your Next.js application. Here on the top, we see that we import a font and then we inject actually this font down there as a class name. We got inter, which is actually an instance or a variable containing the font inter coming from the package next font slash Google. And if we go to Google and we look for inter, we see here that we got the font down there. So we, if we look a bit more uh, down, we got other fonts. And here, if I remove it in here, I can see that I got several fonts coming from Google font. By the past, what we used to do is that we used to go to the CSS file or the SCSS, and we used to inject the font directly from here and coming from a, a folder that we could have in here, for instance, in the public folder or in an assets folder or whatever. You can still do it. You can still import your font uh, directly inside your project if it's not part of Google font. But here we see that we got the possibility directly to call from our package next font, a font that is coming from here. Let's try now to import another font than inter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to explore this next font. And we see that down there, we've got some function. And here I'm going to look for Roboto. And we see that we've got Roboto, which is here. And if I go on Google font, we can see that I got Roboto also. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to import Roboto. And as a subset, we see that we have got a Latin, for instance. And we see that we've got a weight that we have to pass on here, for instance, and we got other several options here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to import Roboto and we see that we got Roboto from here. And instead of enter, I'm going to pass Roboto. And here we see that we've got uh, an error. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a weight. And here this weight is going to be actually uh, 400. And there we go. So I'm going to come back to my application. And here we see it slightly uh, that there is a difference. So if I inspect and I look at the paragraph on the computed, what we've got down there as a font family, we've got Roboto. So we've got several fonts that we can import directly from next font slash Google down there. And if we would like to make a difference, here we see that we inject inter here as a class name, which is actually not inter. We got to change this. It's Roboto now. Okay, so now we inject here the font everywhere into the app. But let's say that I would like to have on my uh, H1, so here on the global.css, let's say that on my H1, I would like to have a, a different behavior. So what I'm going to do here, I'm on Tailwind, so what I can do basically, because here I could inject a layer, I could inject a body, but here I'm just going to put an H1. I'm going to apply here a first, a higher uh, um, a size. Here we've got now the title that has a higher size. And then after that, I would like to inject another font, but not coming from the next font uh, slash Google. What I'm, I would do here, and this is a bit dumb because here I'm going to use a, a link directly, is that I could import, for instance, a font that is not already into the package. So I think inclusive song at the time I'm doing the video is not part of the package. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here and down there, I'm going to select uh, the, the sizes. So here I got only two sizes. I got this one. And now that I got this and I'm going to move a little bit my, my, my screen for you to see. There we go. What I'm going to do here, we see that I got the import function, which is here. And now I can import this piece of CSS directly here, directly on my um, global.css. And what I'm going to do, I'm going just to uh, copy paste the rules, the font family given here. And I'm going to put this Geologica font uh, inclusive sans and sans serif. And when I come back here, I'm going to update. So if I look at the title, here we see that we don't see definitely the difference, but we see now that I'm using inclusive song. So you can use this option at import to import your phone. Otherwise, the last option, if you got a phone that is not online and you want to host it, or you want to um, just import it into your project, what you can do is to download this font, then to upload this font here on fontsquirrel.com here. And what it's going to do, it's going to generate for you all the fonts uh, in the WOF uh, 
uh, format, which is actually the web format, the best web format. And you're going to have some CSS that you can add to your global.css. And later, you can add the font family here. So we saw in this lesson that we can import the fonts from Roboto and inject them directly into our body with the class name. We saw that we can go grab them with the at import if they are hosted on a website. And we finally saw also that we can actually overwrite the main font that is imported here with a specific font directly into the CSS. 